what's up everyone welcome back to my channel this is Kanavi and today makeup look is this black swan makeup I'm having a lot of blacks on my eyes and I'm pairing it with red lipstick because I love wearing red lips and it gives a lot of more of a talk because I decided to do a talk through with talk through intro because some of you requested a talk through makeup tutorial but I've been dealing with that because there's a lot of disturbing noise Yo, so if you guys like this look and want to know how to get this look then keep on watching so starting off with cleanse base I'm going in with my skincare I'm using this SK2 facial treatment clear lotion and use compact to just smooth up my skin this product is really amazing and gonna go in with the cream this is from the face shop this cream is really nice it's moisturized my skin and also kind of tone up my skin as a name and it's also give that subtle glow to the skin as well so just rub it in make sure you don't be too harsh on your skin make sure you just blend it in gently and pat it into the skin that way yeah skincare is really important just a quick reminder so you girl have to hide all those pores I'm using this in the spray blur no sebum blur primer and just rub it in around my nose because I have bad looking pores right here I'm starting off with my eyes using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Natural and just apply a little bit all over my lid and gonna set that concealer using this white eyeshadow from the makeup kit this just gonna help set that concealer in place and also act as a base for the other shadow, shadow to blend on smoothly so I'm applying this dark gray shimmery dark gray eyeshadow on to my lid and use that chocolatey brown to blend the edges of that gray to add more warm and contour to my eyes because when you work with cool tone color make sure you throw in some warm color in there to balance out the look and yeah just gonna help that to blend out better so I'm gonna keep on blending the trick is to keep adding more shadow and keep on blending so here I'm using this elf glitter primer and just start it on my lid this is gonna help the next shadow to stick on my eyes and this is the star of the show this is the L'Oreal color infallible shadow in the shade eternal black and I'm just gonna pack that on to my lid make sure don't go past the crease and keep the color really low and just pack it on there and I'm going to do that to the other eye as well just add more shadow and drag it to the outer V as well here I'm using the smudger brush to kind of smudge out the line and pick up that brown that we used earlier to smudge that shadow into the gray and the brown and make sure there's no hush line keep on smudging and here I'm using this fan brush to brush out the fallout that's why guys for this video I start off I started off with the eyes because this eye makeup this eyeshadow kind of cause a lot of fallout so keep on blending blending is key blending is a full-time job <laughs> So I'm using this SK2 Cell Illumination Essence and just uh, apply a few drops all over my face. It's really really moisturizing guy. I love this essence and just move out all over my skin and now it's time for foundation. I'm using the NYX makeup uh, foundation in the shade natural and use that to brush too. Blend the foundation out. It's a brush, not to brush. Okay, so I'm concealing my dark circle using my favorite concealer of all time, the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Natural as well, and apply it onto my dark circle, my forehead, my nose, and everywhere. You know the drill. We apply concealer everywhere. We conceal all the imperfections. 
So now it's time to blend that all out using the puff and make sure you also wet your puff and gonna blend everything seamlessly by pushing it into your skin. Keep on blending, concealing. And to set that concealer, I'm using this Innisfree No Sebum Blur Mineral Powder and smoothly apply it onto those areas that we applied concealer earlier. Now going back with the eye makeup, I'm applying this shadow onto my lower lash line and go over everything and just blend it all out and I'm touching up by adding more shadows. So to line my eye, I'm using this Maybelline gel liner in the shade Black Hush Black. I'm not lining my eye like dramatically, I'm just uh, tight lining to tidy the look together. Just apply the eyeliner between the lashes and use that same gel liner and put it on my lower uh, my waterline to intensify the look so here I'm using this Misha the style mono shadow and it's a cream shadow and it's really glittery and shimmery and it's time for the brow I look stupid without brow I know so we have to do that brow real quick I'm using the same uh, product that I always use is the e.l.f. lock on liner brow cream and got to chisel out that cheekbone using the bronzer in the makeup kit and apply it onto the temple to hide that big white forehead and contour the nose it's time for the blush I'm using this very subtle blush right here is the cookie pudding cookie a blush from Etude House in the shade uh, Apricot Pudding and curl my lashes and sorry guys for something that got into the frame I didn't know so I'm using this Katrick All Round Mascara and apply it onto my lashes before I put on some falsy this falsy are from Diamond Lashes I got it in Japan they are really good really natural and really comfortable to wear I love them just using this uh, eyeliner to uh, hide those bands and also put it on my inner corner to intensify the look and here I'm using this Tolly Moly Shimmer Cube highlighter in the shade gold and it's really pretty just put it onto the inner corner my nose and brow bone I'm highlighting wow oh, that highlight is bomb <laughs> just put it on my cheekbone and on my brow and on the cupid's bow on my chin so now it's time for the lips i'm using this mac uh, lipstick in the shade red yeah it's red the name is so basic <laughs> just apply it all over my lips and i feel like it's too shiny so i'm using this blotting this tissue i got from coffee shop it's really amazing to blot oil and just blot the excess shine out and I'm using that brown that we put on my eyes to deepen up the lip this is really optional but for me I find it to be uh, really nice just to give some volume to the lips and also make the lip look more three-dimensional and this look is complete I hope you guys like this and if you feel like the red lip is too much for you you can of course switch the lip color and hope you guys enjoy please like subscribe share with friends and family thank you so much bye